What's up everybody and welcome to a new video. Today we're gonna do something very special. I actually got a uh, real queen ant in my garden and um, I came with the idea to start an ant colony. I already got her about two months ago and she actually laid eggs already. She made uh, her own ants. Today I kind of want to make a nice enclosure for them. So that's what we're gonna do today. I hope you like this video and uh, let's do it. All right, so here are the ants. This is basically what they are kept in right now uh, and this is very basic of course um, why we have this paper on here is because ants like to have a hole normally in the ground and that's dark so now you kind of uh, simulate how they are in the dark so i'm going to show you guys how they look right now and here you can see the queen as you can see and there are also a few ants there you can also see that there's quite a lot of white stuff in there i'm kind of annoying them right now and those things those small white things are actually um, eggs so those will be also so and soon uh, what I I'm gonna close it down again by the way this is uh, going through this and this makes sure that they get some water which is very important I can also see that there's some mold over here so that's not really a good thing and so I'm gonna have to clean that soon that's what we're gonna do but uh, in this part of the enclosure this is basically the arenas how they normally call it and this is where I put some food in for them I can see that there's also some I don't know dirty stuff over here no idea what's that but there's just some seeds in here which kind of fed them um, but yeah they just need a new enclosure and that's what we're gonna do in this video all right guys the idea that I have is that I cut these off from the crickets that I got from these egg cases <laughs> And what's so cool about this is that I can make a sort of a queen enclosure in this place. And what I want to do is place the place this like this. On the outside I'm going to add aluminium foil and I'm going to add that with some of this. With this I can kind of open it so it's dark when I put it down and I can open it uh, whenever I want. I don't know if this works well. I kind of came with this idea so I just want to try it out. So I'm going to add some substrate on this and make, keep a small tunnel on here so that the ants can go in this uh this tube okay the first thing that we're gonna do is add some of the substrate i got the coco fiber just like i use with my stick insects i'm not sure if that's uh, a good substrate for them but i wouldn't know why it would not be good substrate and uh, like this i kind of want to make it pretty strong and here you can already see the hole right here so this makes sure that they can get in right there but i'm gonna have to make it pretty tight to make sure that they will go in there and they can't get uh, away from these edges right here i don't know if you can see them there's some edges on here and i don't want it to uh, have an escape uh, place make it like this a bit this already looks pretty pretty cool like this I was thinking about um, adding this again, but this is a pretty thin cage and I'm pretty sure if I'm going to try that, that it uh, will fill and the cage will de be destroyed. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, what I am going to do is, uh, of course, this is a pretty low ventilated enclosure what I'm adding them in right now. So they won't need that much humidity. So they don't, well, they actually have already a lot of humidity by the substrate that I'm adding right now. So I'm not really worried about that too much. I think that this should be enough. What I want to do is find the hole that I've created. I'm gonna poke it out a little bit with my knife and it's right here. So right now you can already see that it is open right here. I kind of want to make it a bit more narrow because right now this will bring a lot of light. All right that looks good. What I want to do now is add the uh, the foil on here. So I'm gonna cut that in the right shape. All right I kind of added it right now so what I can do right now is open it like this and now I can see inside the hole so what they are doing basically and I can close it off back again I'm gonna add a bit more uh, I don't know what the name of this is guys comment it down below please and then I know it we call this plakband in the Netherlands and I really forgot what the name is in English most of the time when I start making videos and I start thinking about hmm, what was that in English again yeah that's the point where it's going wrong all right I'm gonna show you guys um, the idea because right now you can see if I pull this off correctly it will be completely dark in there I've also placed this against the wall so it makes sure that it's 
it closed. Of course, the best idea would be to you to add magnets and then make it dark. But um, I'm going to show you guys that right here you can see kind of see the light through it right now. And when I close this off, it's completely dark. Maybe I can zoom in a bit more so you can see what I mean. So right now it's light in there, you see? And when I close it off, it's completely dark. So that way they feel in a natural habitat. Habitat, habitat. Yeah, I think I'm gonna add the ends, add some food in there and then we're gonna close it off. Okay, so the food that I added are uh, a dead cricket, which actually came from my mantis enclosure. And I added some seeds. Um, I'm not sure if they completely eat the cricket, but it's just an experiment. I wrote online that they all also eat dead insects most of the end species so I'm pretty sure that will uh, be fine too yeah the next few weeks will will show me if they do like the cricket and if they won't then I will just remove it so uh, yeah let's put the ends in right now all right this may be the actually the hardest part about all of this because oh well that was not that hard they're in here I'm not gonna make the mat yet because they still have the bulb on them I'm gonna get ready to get the uh, top on and I think that the best thing to do is first remove a little bit of this plug band which I didn't really know what the name was again because if I'm gonna throw them out right now they may stick to it I don't know how my brother made this but it's still pretty functional and by the way guys there's a lot of people who buy uh, ant colonies these days a lot of uh, small children first of all um, it's good to do that and there are a lot of sites that where you can buy them but I just really recommend and that's also because of my uh, youth is first of all to just go to your garden see what you can find there I actually spotted this ant colony a few months ago whatever this is not gonna work and um, yeah I just saw a queen ant and you just take the queen and give her food and then she lays eggs and you have an ant colony you don't have to waste a lot of money for it and like making an ant enclosure should be pretty easy of course you're not gonna get an amazing ant enclosure like um, like something like Ants Canada has or whatever you can also do that later but this is a pretty easy way to start off and then you know if you actually like it or not okay I'm just gonna try to get them out this is gonna be hard all right I'm gonna try to poke them out with a dark stick maybe that will work because right now they are kind of stuck in there. Gotta be careful that I don't kill the queen. It has been... it's time to leave. Okay, I kind of made the mat and they're all falling down right now. The eggs are also falling down. The queen is in. I think I'm gonna leave the uh, the tube in here. I'm gonna try to show you guys what I am seeing right now. Oh, the queen ends oh, almost. Here you can see the queen. She is in panic mode. As you can see, she has no idea where she needs to go. I can't really put the top on yet because it's very dirty. But I'm pretty sure if I keep this in here that they will uh, go out. Because right now she's not in the light anymore. Or she is in the light, sorry. Um, and they don't really have a dark place to uh, keep the egg. Right here you can see the egg. I don't know if I can show them to you guys, but there's an egg. And there's an egg right there. Yeah, they will quickly uh, place that to a safer spot. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna put the top on. And this was a nice experiment. I hope you guys uh, like this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, uh, please put a thumbs up. If you want to see more of these videos, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys to the next one.